Hi, this is Jeremy Wynn, and I am here with my customer review on how to of the Eon Video to PC USB Video Converter Box System. So you can get an idea of how this works. First, uh, let's take a look at the actual converter box itself, and I'll show you my setup and how I've put it together. <laughs> Here is the uh, the video to PC converter box, and uh, let's take a look at the front of the box. Uh, as you can see, there are three RCA inputs, and there is two for stereo and one for video. And then you can also see that there is an S video input as well. I have this hooked to my Direct TV. And DVR so I can archive movies onto my PC. <laughs> On the back end, if you take a look, you'll see a long, about a six and a half foot cord USB that hooks straight into my Dell computer. Uh, you may want to have a fairly powerful computer if you plan to archive videos as you know they take a lot of memory so uh, I'm running mine on Windows XP on a Dell Inspiron 15 with about 4 gigabytes of RAM and a dual core 2 processor <laughs> next thing you'll want to do is you will want to put the software CD into your DVD CD drive and wait for the installation splash screen to pop up on your screen. One thing I keep telling people is uh, one of the reasons a lot of people have problems with this device is they forget to install the driver separately. <laughs> they assume that when they install the CyberLink is it Cyberlink 8.0, I think, and also Cyberlink 10.0. Uh, this, uh, this product can come with either of those versions, but uh, people assume that once you install the PowerDirector software, that the, uh, that the box, that the driver for the box is already installed, which it's not. Once you install the CyberLink software, you have to come back and install the driver separately because it's the glue which makes everything come together. It's the major tool which makes all this work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch the PowerDirector software and give you an idea of how everything works when the driver is properly installed. You can take a look around at uh, what the PowerDirector suite looks like when it's first launched. Now I've, uh, I've gone ahead and turned on my DirecTV DVR and uh, we're going to see if the box is actually working. So uh, once you launch the software, you'll want to go into a button on the upper left hand of your computer screen, the capture button. So you're going to want to left click on the capture button. And the suite will automatically detect the box. And then automatically you will see the input video or the streaming video on the left side of your computer screen. You can record. Here's the record button right down right down here. You can you can edit after you record. You can produce. There's a mixing room. So if you want to mix your own music with the video, it ha you can upload to uh, you can upload to uh, direct into YouTube, you can upload to Facebook, uh, you're also supposed to be able to upload to uh, like your iPod or iPhone and even PlayStation Portable.
So, any case, I hope that helps, and uh, enjoy it.